when I was a uh, head coach at the University of Evansville, uh, we lost a very difficult game at Colorado State. And I had taught a play one way and an assistant on my team had gone to the other other end and taught it the opposite way. And I was very upset after the game because we didn't run this play right. And so I spent way too much time after the game talking about why this play didn't run right, uh, not realizing that there was a little bit of discrepancy uh, until the players approached me. Um, the head coach at Colorado State was my former assistant coach. His name's Tom Collin. And Tom came to me after the game and he said, Tricia, why, why do you go to the locker room after games? And I said, because I always have. Uh, that's what coaches do. And he goes, I don't. And he said, let me tell you something. It's very freeing to not go to the locker room. He goes, and I want you to try it and just tell me what you think. He said, I talked to my, my team and my staff at half court right after the game for a few minutes and then we're done. He goes, I don't see him till the next day. And he goes, the best part about it is, and I agree with him on this, you watch film is quicker. You get to evaluate it, make sense of what you just said. It keeps college coaches and even any coach from complimenting someone then watching film that night and having to retract some words the next day and say, you know, I told you you played great, but really you didn't, you know, or getting on a kid, not realizing that a chain reaction caused what, what happened in the game and you're really upset with them but you don't realize that maybe it wasn't that player, that player's fault. It was, you know, Betsy instead of Sue. And so now you've gotten on her and that kid is going to hold on to that moment for a long time. And you've done some damage there. When had you slept on it, watched the film, you would have got it completely right. And so uh, for, for those reasons with my players, I like to manage my emotions after a game. 